Welcome to Act Notes Tutorials, my name is Ryan, and I am going to give you a quick tutorial on DOT MLPFP analysis. Since there is no easy way to pronounce this, I will refer to it as .p analysis. What is .p analysis? .p analysis stands for Doctrine, Organization, Training, Materiel, Leadership, and Education, Personnel, Facilities, and Policy. .p analysis is the first step in the requirements process and part of a functional solutions analysis. It determines or recommends if a non-material approach or a material approach is required to fill a capability gap. .p includes the entire life cycle of a system, including the sustainment, environment, safety, and occupational health and all human systems integration domains. Depicted on the figure is where the .p analysis takes place in the requirements and acquisition process. As you can see, it takes place at the very beginning, of each process. The results of the .p analysis will determine the start of both processes if a material solution is recommended. If a non-material solution is recommended a .p change recommendation will be initiated. What is the purpose of .p analysis? The purpose of .p analysis is a tool that allows senior leaders the ability to analyze their organizational capabilities from the perspective of doctrine, organization, training, materiel, leadership, and education, personnel, facilities, and policy when making future strategic decisions. When they determine a non-material change is needed in their current strategic capabilities, a .p change recommendation is issued. Now let's examine each of the .p analysis elements. The first analysis is doctrine. The doctrine analysis examines the way the military fights its conflicts with emphasis on maneuver warfare and combined air ground campaigns to see if there is a better way that might solve a capability gap. A few questions to ask are. Is there an existing doctrine that addresses or relates to the business need? Is it joined? Service? Agency? Are there operating procedures in place that are not being followed which contribute to the identified need? The next analysis is organization. The organization analysis examines how we are organized to fight with divisions, air wings, marine air ground task forces, and others. The analysis looks to see if there is a better organizational structure or capability that can be developed to solve a capability gap. Questions to ask are. Where is the problem occurring? What organizations are the problem occurring in? Is the organization properly staffed and funded to deal with the issue? The next analysis is training. The training analysis examines how we prepare our forces to fight tactically from basic training, advanced individual training, various types of unit training, joint exercises, and other ways to see if improvement can be made to offset capability gaps. A few questions to ask are. Is the issue caused, at least in part, by a complete lack of or inadequate training? Does training exist which addresses the issue? The next analysis is materiel. The materiel analysis examines all the necessary equipment and systems that are needed by our forces to fight and operate effectively and if new systems are needed to fill a capability gap. A question to ask is, is the issue caused, at least in part, by inadequate systems or equipment? The next analysis is leadership and education. The leadership and education analysis examines how we prepare our leaders to lead the fight from squad leader to general and their overall professional development. A few questions to ask are. Does leadership understand the scope of the problem? Does leadership have resources at its disposal to correct the issue? The next analysis is personnel. The personnel analysis examines the availability of qualified people for peacetime, wartime, and various contingency operations to support a capability gap by restructuring. A few questions to ask are. Is the issue caused, at least in part? by the inability or decreased ability to place qualified and trained personnel in the correct occupational specialties? Are the right personnel in the right positions, skill set match? The next analysis is facilities. The facilities analysis examines military property, installations, and industrial facilities, for example government-owned rocket launch facilities, that support our forces to see if they can be used to fill in a capability gap. A few questions to ask are. Is there a lack of operations and maintenance? Is the problem caused, at least in part, by inadequate infrastructure? The final analysis is policy. The policy analysis examines any DoD, 
interagency, or international policy issues that may prevent effective implementation of changes in the other 7.p elemental areas. What is a .p change recommendation? A .p change recommendation is a recommendation for a non-material changes to an existing resources recommended by the .p analysis. The recommendation is not associated with a new defense acquisition program. The figure shows where the .p change recommendation takes place in the requirement and acquisition process. If a material change is recommended from the .p analysis, then the acquisition process will start. Thank you for watching this tutorial on the .p analysis. For more information visit the webpage. Congratulations for finishing this tutorial and thanks for visiting ACT Notes.